Welcome and thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect. My name is Joshua Persaw. I'm the Executive Minister here at Norwin Christian Church. I want to look at one of those Bible passages today uh, that can be a challenge for us. It may honestly be one of those that we might have read in the past and we read it and it seems so uh, opposite of our normal behavior that we might set it on the shelf and not really want to address it. But let's read it and see if we can encourage each other and find out what God would want us to do. So it's James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. It says, Consider it all joy, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Wow, how can we, how can we consider a trial joy? How can we consider a difficult situation a joy in our life? So most of us, we are just naturally inclined that if something difficult comes up, that is not a positive thing. And most of us try to work the situation so we can resolve it as quickly as possible and get back to whatever we consider normal. And, and I'm right there with you. I think that is, and I think that's even how God designed us. I think that's inherent in who we are as human beings, and it's what God would expect. But God offers us a little bit of an alternate path. And especially for those of us who really appreciate our schedules, we like being organized, we like when we like for our day to kind of go the way that we had in mind that it would go. We don't like a lot of interruptions. We don't want to change things around, especially for those, so I'm kind of raising my hand, for, for those of us, this can be especially challenging. So what is it maybe practically that we could share here in just a minute or two that could help us as we try to take a step of faith and we try to practice what God is asking us, it seems so opposite in so many ways to who we are. So number one, let's just remember that the perspective that God has. God is able to see the past and the present just like us, but he's also able, able to see the future. And we know from in the past, we've seen us go through difficult times and we've seen how it changed us for the future and how it could be a positive thing. Even when we think back about the year 2020, which was such a hard year, the year that COVID came to our world and so many things changed and there were so many difficult circumstances, yet there were so many things that were started and birthed and established in that time, relationships that were built and deepened. There was so much good that came for it. Not that we would want to go back again or that the good outweighed the bad, but there were good things that came out of it. So the second thing is when we find ourselves in an interruption or a trial, is see who God would introduce us to. Is there a new relationship that's going to start a new opportunity for Jesus in that, in that time period? Or are there relationships that are going to be strengthened? Are there going to be relationships that are going to be healed? So let's keep our eyes open. If something comes up with us of a medical nature, we're going to meet some new doctors. We're going to meet some new nurses. We're going to meet some new people in different health situations. What is God doing in that? How does he want to use us? And then thirdly, what is God doing in my heart? As, as someone who, who likes everything in their life to be orderly and to run smoothly, how is God changing me so that that's not always the barometer for my life, but I'm more sensitive to my spiritual side and to the spiritual world, and that is governing how I live my life more than just the practical side of who I am. So just some opportunities there that we can grow in this, and we can honor God as we want to do our best to practice uh, these things that he asks us to do. So let's pray together. God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you even for hard situations that grow us. God, that allow us to reach out to you, that allow us to feel more uh, needy or incapable of taking care of ourselves because we, we lean on you. Thank you for these opportunities. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you all this coming Sunday.